So here we have the spiral vase rose and we're going to print this at 450 millimeters a second 20,000 acceleration uh, this printer was just put together after installing this rail core top plate it's one continuous piece all the way around so the rails have a nice flat surface to sit against there's slots underneath here and there's holes drilled into this top plate uh, in order to get everything as best I could trammed in. Uh, one of the problems I had was this carriage block here and it has the rail is sandwiched between this aluminum plate another aluminum plate and then inside this lower printed part are four aluminum standoffs so that when these bolts are tightened the plastic doesn't deform and cause the rail to twist and and do things so I had problems where I would take it apart put it back together and the rails would bind and it's because this was inconsistent when torquing these down on what it would do to this uh, this Y cross rail um, so we're using here a 5015 fan that's 12 volts uh, that's running on 24 volts and using the octoduct which is um, six ducts on the inside and two ducts pointing on the outside uh, these are just regular stepper on line, 48 millimeter tall, 83 ounce, inch ounce, something like that, motors. Uh, this is running 16 micro steps. Uh, interpolation is off and uh, it's in uh, spread cycling. Sorry I had a delay there. It, it really makes hardly no noise. The motors, there's no noise. I, you can hear the fan running. You can hear a little rattle noise that's coming from that little ceramic insulator on the on the hot end. That's what that little kind of noise is. Uh, other than that, the motors, they, they're not making any real noise here. So this is a base mode rose. Uh, it should take about 13 minutes, 10 to 13 minutes to print this. 20 square corner, 20,000 acceleration. I did add this uh, three millimeter plate to the side and it's solid as can be. I need to make uh, another one for the other side here. This is a triple belt Z. Bungee cords. So this is 320 by 320 uh, movable volume. Print volume is only based on the bed, which this is a 300 by 300. And if the if the bed was a little bigger, it could have a little bit more volume. So 400 millimeters in Z. The whole tool head assembly is basically aluminum. The duct in the back and the lower duct is plastic. There isn't much there in plastic anymore. 
I even added these aluminum caps to these carriage sliders so I wouldn't have heat creep from those bolts. Uh, that larger surface area tends to help not smash everything and have to retighten the bolt so much. So it holds together pretty good. I did the same thing here with these stepper motors. Um, and at least this is two piece now. It used to be one piece and it was very difficult to bolt in these motors from the bottom. This way it just comes in from the, from the top side. So the only reason it's in my garage now is to install this, this top plate. It took quite a bit of work to do that. This, this uh, rail core top plate was actually too long and it, it came out here in the back about another inch or so and I had to basically cut it off in the back and flip it 180 and then and then re-weld it. She's a humming along. It is moving quite a bit on the table. Uh, this is a four-legged table that's it's got a some kind of looseness in it that it just moves all over the place. So, but it'll be okay. But man, in person, this is they're one of the quietest operating at this speed. Is just quiet. Flow is about a solid 18 right now. I could really bump this up to get into 30. But this is pretty much my, my first or second test with this printer back together. I did run some free tests at, at 2 meters a second at 10,000 acceleration and handled it pretty well. It's when I start getting into the the 20,000 plus acceleration at uh, about 1,500 millimeters a second, it'll, it'll start to skip steps. So, I don't know, it could use maybe 48 volts, but you can't print much faster than this anyway. At least I can, so I don't really need the 48 volts. This is still using 6 millimeter belts. These are 6 millimeter Gates belts. I did buy some, some gears, <coughs> uh, sprockets, for a, a 10 millimeter belt. And I'll have to redesign the whole top end again to, to change to those wider belts. But it was recommended to use those, and I'm going to try them and see what they do. This is running a, a Sherpa Mini Micro Hybrid. Uh, this extruder has been lowered, mirrored, and it's a Micro Sherpa with a Mini Bolt Pattern. So I, I found the mini bolt pattern was a little bit better for my setup, so I just modified the micro uh, to have the mini bolt pattern. 